always tracking, always alerting. This is Next Weather. This week's king tides are expected to be the most significant tides for the rest of the year. They're expected to happen each day this week in the morning and evening hours as the full moon aligns with the sun. The tides will be more powerful because of the moon's orbit and it's swinging a bit closer to the Earth's surface. That causes more pull on the ocean water and causes larger tidal swings. Here is next weather meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. That's right, and we are going to see those king tides peaking tomorrow and Thursday, but even as soon as later this evening during our next high tide times, we could see some of that minor coastal saltwater flooding and that would occur around 730 PM in Fort Lauderdale and again tomorrow morning around 814 AM in Miami. We are going to see that next high tide at 716 PM and then again around 759 in the morning tomorrow and for Key West at 823 PM and then again tomorrow morning 950 AM and the reason for the higher than normal king tides is that we have the brightest full supermoon of the year. By the way, it is going to be peaking tomorrow. It appears bigger and brighter. It's already been beautiful the last few nights, so don't forget to check it out. And that's leading to those higher tides. It's also known as a full beaver moon, by the way, and peak illumination takes place tomorrow at 8 19 a.m. It'll appear full though tonight and tomorrow, and it's named after beavers preparing for hibernation. Then on top of that, we also have the wind, which is now moving in off the ocean 12 to 13 miles an hour that strong onshore flow right now we're cloudy as we look at our next weather radar and satellite and we're seeing temperatures are hovering in the upper 70s 79 in Fort Lauderdale 78 in Miami and Homestead currently 77 in Marathon and in Key West so if you want to walk your dog you know right now the temperatures aren't too warm at least not as warm as yesterday and Benny here is looking for a home so if you want to adopt him certainly take advantage and call as we have the Miami Dade Animal Service is sending us photos as well of dogs in need of their forever home and we're going to see temperatures right around 80 the rest of the afternoon because of the clouds so it's good dog walking weather even through this evening send your photos to pics at cbsmiami.com i'll continue to share them now just watch out for the wind because gusts could be reaching 20 25 miles per hour as we head through the day today and tomorrow and that means a dangerous high risk of rip currents so it is not safe to go swimming in the ocean and a small craft advisory is in effect for the Atlantic waters choppy on the bays rough near shore for the Florida Keys a small craft advisory as well. Now tracking the tropics I do have good news as currently no tropical development is expected here over the next seven days and of course we'll take that and hurricane season is not over till the end of November we'll be watching and keeping you updated. Meantime, the next few days, we're going to warm up slightly and we'll see a 10% chance of rain through Thursday, though as we head towards the end of the week, the winds will begin to subside a bit and we'll see warmer weather for the weekend with highs in the mid to upper 80s and the rain chance will rise a bit too. We'll see spotty showers heading into Friday, Saturday and Sunday.